I would like to tell you about my mom, my rock, my teacher, my hero. She was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease when she was 62 years old. The disease crept up on her like a thief in the night, robbing our family of her vibrant spirit and our community of a well-respected and loved Superior Court judge. When mom's Alzheimer's made its uninvited appearance, the signs were subtle. She struggled to remember a name, would lose a train of thought, or, or give a confusing instruction from the bench. The court bailiff, a trusted family friend, kept me informed of what he called her heartbreaking deterioration. As the months passed and her cognitive skills declined, my beautiful mom was forced to retire. The career that she knew and loved was no longer possible. We were about to embark on a new journey infused with the unknown. So many emotions flooded my senses on a daily, sometimes hourly basis. When looking at family photos with my mom, I, I felt happy, hopeful, and heartbroken all at once. As she spoke, I tried to sear into my memory her gentle voice, telling me of my great-grandparents' amazing immigration from Italy. She laughed as she recalled how her great Aunt Teresa made my mom's confirmation dress from her old wedding dress. I struggled to remember everything she said. I was now becoming the guardian of all these precious memories. One incident really brought her illness home to me. I went to our refrigerator, and when I looked inside, I found my mom's wallet and keys on the middle shelf. How could this happen? It was real now. I was losing her. That was the first time I really felt alone and afraid. My vibrant, loving mom was becoming the child. I knew that this disease was progressive, but I was not prepared. And I was certainly not prepared for the next day when my mom showed us that this disease would not only scare us, but send us into a full-blown panic. The next afternoon, I was making my mom's favorite pasta in the kitchen with my daughter. I heard the front door open. Since it was around the time our mail was delivered, I assumed my mom was going out to the mailbox. She still enjoyed her familiar routine. But after a few minutes, I realized that I didn't hear her come back in. I ran to the door and looked toward the mailbox. She was gone. I later found out that she had become confused at the mailbox and began to wander down the street. She had just disappeared. I ran wildly in all directions, yelling for her. No response, no clue where she went. My heart was in my throat. I grabbed my daughter and a flashlight. I knew from my Alzheimer's research that she might try to seek shelter somewhere. So we searched every parked car front and back looking for her. The clock was ticking. The hour she was lost felt like an eternity. Finally, we found her. I felt relief, frustration, and guilt all at once. We climbed into the back seat and held her for a moment. I told myself that whatever did lie ahead, we would get through this together. My mom loved to knit. She said it kept her mind occupied and helped her de-stress from the hectic days in court. She was able to hold on to that skill until the end stages of her disease. And she also liked to attend workshops that were sponsored through the Alzheimer's Association. Mom became homebound. Then knitting soon became very difficult for her. And at some point, our conversations became one-sided. But I knew her favorite thing in the world was coming soon. Christmas was in the air. Growing up, my mom was Christmas personified. We would start decorating the tree before Thanksgiving and put up beautiful wreaths that she and grandma had made together. Mom was a great cookie baker. She would make gingerbread cookies and we would eat them until we made ourselves sick. Then we would start on the sugar cookies. And the music, we loved Christmas music. Singing out loud and off key was our thing. That was my mom. I was so blessed to be her daughter. 
So her slipping away from me, her losing that twinkle in her eyes, the fading sound of her voice, all of it. Heartbreak was here and about to swallow me whole. But I knew I was lucky to have had it, all of it. Mom slipped away from us peacefully last month in her chair, doing what she enjoyed. I will always remember the lessons she taught me and the example and the standards that she set. Gentle and firm, welcoming everyone with a warm smile. She was one of a kind. Moving forward, I'm trying to be the fighter Mom would want me to be. She's with me every day. I see her beauty in my daughter's smile, and I hear her joy in a stranger's laugh. And when I imagine her in a garden at peace, I have faith and hope for the Alzheimer's cure. There really is hope for those who suffer from Alzheimer's. 